Hello, my name is Manisha Nath Gupta and I'm the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. Now I'm having great fun putting together this series on building with lime. I have learned so much about lime in the last few years and I'm eager to transfer all my learnings and knowledge to you. Now if you're the same age as me or perhaps a little bit older, you will have memories of a time when all our houses were painted with lime wash. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today in this video. Now in the past few videos when we've talked about surface finishes, we've detailed out how you can do textured finishes with a simple lime and marble mix. And we've also talked about how to do really expensive and labor intensive polished lime surface finishes. So while polished lime um, practices uh, can be more complex and more demanding, the other end of it, which also you see featured in Ananda, is the humble lime wash, where you simply take a can of lime, chuck in some pigment if you like, and lap it on. And this is actually a humble but extremely charming specification because one it it is at the end of the day made of lime so it has the lime particle and therefore it doesn't have the cheap quality of say like a cheap paint or a distemper or whatever what is it about this humble lime particle that makes it so aesthetic and so appealing to the eye the lime particle has a very unique structure where it allows light to be refracted twice. And that's how uh, even, even a simple lime wash looks appealing, looks charming. If you think back, you know, houses of Goa or Portuguese villages, or, you know, which are this classically lime washed imagery, th that works because of the way the lime particle refracts light. And that's what makes everything to do with lime special and everything that the minute you add 5% polymers, 1% plastics, that entire visual aesthetic is overridden by, you know, these other things. And you lose that very unique and specific aesthetic. One of the reasons that the lime wash has lost out to the plastic emulsions that are currently available in the market is because lime wash needs to be repeated every year. While this may sound like lime wash is not protective enough for your walls, the truth is actually the opposite. Lime wash does need a repeated uh, redoing, especially on the exterior, because it will dust on contact. But this is actually how it performs by sacrificing itself and by having no mass, so to speak, it can't actually hold water. The outer layer of lime wash will saturate and sacrifice itself and thereby protecting the rest of the wall from the ingress of rainwater. So this is how um, lime wash actually works as an excellent exterior uh, specification, but also means it needs to be repeatedly reapplied based on the intensity of monsoon and also based on the architecture, how protected, how many eaves and overhangs and so on you have. So while it is true that you need to apply a coat of lime wash every year on your exterior walls, the good news is that it is extremely easy to do. You don't need to do any preparation of the walls, you don't need to apply any POP, any putty, you don't even need to sand them down. You simply need to pick up a brush and make your lime wash solution with the right pigment and get started with the painting. It is so simple that even an unskilled person can do it. Mixing pigments to get the color of your choice in the lime wash is extremely easy. All you need to do is mix the pigment in a smaller batch and then sieve it through a fine cloth so that you don't get any lumps or any concentrated particles of the pigment within your lime wash. So there you go. We have a simple and natural product in lime to use for our interior and exterior wall finishes. I hope this series on Lime have been educative and informative for you. If you find this content interesting, do share it with your friends and invite others to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I'll see you again with another interesting video on Building with Lime.